Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. Oh man, I cannot be more excited. Tonight, we'll be tasting the liquid fire. That is Jack Daniels Koi Hill High Proof Special Edition for 2021. So let me, uh, the bottle's back there. Why don't we grab it and uh, pour it into a Glencairn and give you a few tasting notes, why don't we? So this bottle comes in at, well the one I have anyway, comes in at 144.2. Oh shoot! I should have never had that near the fire. That could have just erupted into flames. That's hazmat. My God, what's wrong with me? Whew. My gosh, let me pour some of this and better give this some breathing. Right? I better turn off the fire while, when I pour this out here, right? <clears throat> so this bottle was uh, awfully hard to come by here in uh, Pennsylvania, I will say. Especially Central PA. If you don't live in, like, Philly or Pittsburgh, they, they give two shits about you. Um, <clears throat> put that back. So, I mean, just look how dark that is. It's like coffee. It's like blood and coffee mixed together. It's like a deep, dark red. can barely see through it. So, while, that, while we spin it, let's just read a few facts off the label. Aged up in the buzzard's roost of our barrel houses on Coy Hill and bottled on cut at higher proofs. Well, damn, you ain't kidding. <clears throat> so this one's 144.2, like we said, 72.10% for those that want to hear that math. Uh, there's two options, Barrel House 8 or Barrel House 13. Uh, they put the old check mark here on this one at Barrel House 8. Process using minimum filtration to sustain its unique flavor profile. Sediment may occur. My gosh, you don't see that too often. Sediment may occur. Now, Jack Daniels doesn't usually age state, age state their products, right? However, on here we have barrel entry, August 2nd, 2012. Oh, oh it's a little old. Bottling date. September 28th, 2021. That makes us a nine-year-old whiskey. And nearly uh, two months. It's nearly a nine-year, two-monther. So, we got an old Jack Daniels here that's just screaming from the rooftops. I, I gotta get away from this fire before it catches it. You know? Just up in flames. Sweet heaven! That smells delicious. I get some of the banana note, but it is subdued. A lot of char. A lot of char on this. It is very deep and rich on the nose. It's one of the best smelling whiskeys I've ever smelled. Ever. So I get a little bit of banana, some char. There's like a marshmallow graham cracker. It's like a s'mores. Like melted milk chocolate on here. I could smell this all day long. Gosh, it smells so good. This is, I mean, one of the best noses for sure. Let's give it a sip. <coughs> She's liquid fire. Whoo! What? What a delivery of flavor. As you would expect, it's pretty thick. As you would also expect, the finish lasts forever. I'm still tasting it. Oh, if you ever notice, a lot of the YouTubers that do reviews on this cannot speak immediately after because it's that hot. It's that hot. It's not an easy drinker <clears throat> by any stretch of the imagination. The flavors on this, though, are unbelievable. You get the marshmallow, the the deep, like the char. You don't actually get as much banana on the flavor. It came through in the nose, but the flavor is like deep, dark, deep red fruits, chocolate. I mean, my what a treat. 
What a treat. Let's take one more sip. Wow. It's probably the best whiskey I've ever had. Um, <clears throat> not that I own a ton of great bottles, but I have not tasted anything richer and more just deep in flavor than that bourbon. Wow. Second sip, the heat dialed back a little bit, but now I'm just getting used. I'm like sweating from that. Um, it's so it's a winter whiskey only. I would not drink this in the summer. Um, you'll sweat through your little workout tea in no time. Oh, A plus. I mean, we don't even do ratings on this channel typically, but 10 out of 10, A plus. Uh, if you see this, which <clears throat> you probably won't, you buy it. I mean, you straight out buy it. There's at 69.99 MSRP. There's no way you pass this up. What would I pay for this, right? Let's let's go there. I know secondary is quite high, five six hundred dollars. I would easily pay 150, maybe even 200 for this if I didn't already have a bottle. It's that good. If you like the Jack Daniels profile, you will be blown away. It's a must buy. Now, <clears throat> we're not going to just end the review here because obviously we want to compare it to other things Jack Daniels has to offer, right? Well, we got a treat for you. Let's. Uh, Give me one second. The most logical competitor. Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof in a store pick no less. So if any of you are near Creston Wine and Spirits in Delaware, this is uh, barrel number three. Coming in at a smoking hot 131.2. So still fairly below, but boy, she's a dark puppy too. Not quite as dark, but she's dark. And then, <clears throat> not proof-wise, but we do have the Jack Daniels 10-year, which I did a review on, loved it. Please go watch that review. Um, I thought, you know what, this is 10 years old, so although not proof-wise, we could compare the age. I think these are roughly 6 to 8, I'm not sure, or 6 to 7, so these are, con these are usually considerably younger, but obviously the proof is up there on these bad boys. So let's... Uh, let me give me a second and I'll pour these into some Glen Karens and we'll uh, we'll just give you some comparisons and some notes. All right, I got them all lined up here. So this is the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof and this is uh, Koi Hill in my right hand. It's gonna be hard probably for you to tell but the Koi Hill is about two shades darker. This is about two shades darker. So we'll do that comparison first. I got the single barrel barrel proof right here, Koi Hill here. Let's. Wow, the single barrel barrel proof. This one is like banana nut bread. Wow, this is straight banana nut bread, nothing else in the nose. You're missing completely the, the charring like marshmallow toasted, toasted ness and charness that comes in this one is missing from this one. It's straight banana nut bread. Let's take a sip. This is gonna drink like water probably after drinking this, but let's take a sip. 131 point whatever two proof never felt more like 90 than it did right there after coming off of this <laughs> um, <clears throat> if you don't know I'm telling you right now the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof fantastic bourbon if you could not get a Koi Hill you go get yourself one of them Th this store pick from Creston is phenomenal it tastes like banana nut bread smells like banana nut bread I would say the only difference between these two, honestly, and, and we'll, we'll take another sip of the Koi Hill here to confirm. The Koi Hill just has that char, that marshmallow, just, it's way, it's way deeper and it's far more complex. So, <clears throat> obviously the, the Koi Hill is better, but, but, the single barrel barrel proof is not, it, it's just kind of one noted, and I, I don't mean that it's, it's not one noted, but it's just less complex. This is this smells like banana nut bread, tastes like banana nut bread, tastes delicious. I love banana nut bread. If you don't like banana nut bread, go go elsewhere. This is, and there's caramel. This is thick. 
This is this is an A whiskey. A plus. I'll give this an A plus. I'll give it like a nine out of ten. That's how much I love the regular single barrel barrel proof. This store picks phenomenal as well, but the Koi Hill here just has a lot of extra layers to it. All right, let's uh, let's taste the old uh, ten year now. But this. All right, I got the ten year. Obviously lighter in color because the ten year is ninety seven proof. So they they watered this sucker down. Um, <clears throat> this was also a limited release this year. And quite frankly, the 10-year, are you ready for this? The 10-year was more limited than the Koi Hill. They only released 24,000 bottles of the 10-year, and they released 27,000 bottles of the old Koi Hill. So, actually it was harder to get your hands on the 10-year um, than it was the Koi Hill, but it didn't seem that way uh, because of the pricing on secondary. But they were actually were both $69.99 in Pennsylvania. So let's give the old 10 year a sniff. Wow. Whew. The 10 year smells very similar to the Koi Hill. It has the banana note. It's a, the banana, banana note is stronger in the 10 year. However, the 10 year does carry the marshmallow and char note that the Koi Hill carries. Let's give it a taste. Delicious. Delicious. If you'd watched my earlier review of the 10 year, you know I loved it. We didn't give a rating, but A plus. You know, it's it's a nine out of ten as well. The 10 year is very well put together. I know it's only 97 proof, but it just all the flavors meld perfectly. It's not harsh. Um, do I wish it was like 110? Absolutely. But the 97 doesn't is, is pretty good on it. The 10 year is probably closer to the Koi Hill in terms of flavor but it obviously doesn't have like the viscosity and it's not quite as as deep and rich but basically the Jack Daniels 10 year is basically Koi Hill high proof cut down cut down to 97 proof so man I, I you cannot go wrong with any of the Jack Daniels single barrels any of them this year if you can get your hands on any of them you're you're a winner right grab the 10 year if you can find it it's it's a plus the Koi Hill, I mean, if nothing more, it's a novelty, but but please do not drink more than like one glass of that because I'm already feeling it and we're like, what, 14 minutes into this video? Whoo, that proof catches you. And the single barrel barrel proof, guys, fantastic. I mean, I know it's on the shelf pretty much everywhere. Grab it if you see it. Grab it. They're all great. But I'll tell you what, that Koi Ho High Proof, something special that I will cherish for uh, probably a long time to come. Because you can't, you can't drink too much of that in one sitting. So if you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, also, we're in the middle of Advent season, so the Advent calendar isn't quite done. So why don't you go watch the Advent calendar. Um, a lot of poor guessing going on there. So, have a great evening, everybody.